darlings and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Raven. I have a seven pound chihuahua named Cupcake and I like to play with makeup. Today we are checking out the Sephora Collections Vintage Filter Eyeshadow Palette. Here is the little look inside. Absolutely love the names of some of these colors. This is just a postcard I'm using to cover the mirror. The mirror is pretty big and really good quality. So that's what we're doing today. We are playing in this sucker. Check out this packaging. Isn't it beautiful? So if you would like to see some swatches of this, watch me apply it to my eyeballs and see what I think about it, just stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Do we see this packaging? Yeah, I try not to get caught up in packaging, but I failed this time because that packaging, hello. I mean, vintage filter, of course. I mean, you know I love anything vintage. So of course, this one, arrow right through the heart, had to have it. So. I have already filmed some swatches of the entire palette. I filmed the tutorial slash review on this palette that was a Sephora brand. I'll link that video below. I really was intrigued and wanted to try out more Sephora products. So while I was looking into hmm, what are some other Sephora products that I could try, that's when I stumbled on to this baby. I have played with it quite a bit. I I'm loving the color selection. I love the fact that it's not just neutrals. Again, it is a way for me to play with different colors and experiment and try new things. But because we, they're all kind of muted tones, the whole idea is that they are colors that, um, that you get when you use a filter on Instagram, like the sepia filter, I believe. So they're kind of muted colors. So it's a great way to play with color without going extreme. I've done my face. So gotta come up with a plan, don't I? Firstly, we are going to go into this color here, Secret Boudoir and set the eye, eye primer. I have used, I think, I really do think I've used every single shadow in here. Um, I think the quality on the mats, let's see, there are, make sure I'm in the thing, one, two, three, four mats, and one, two, three, four, five um, shimmers. A little more intense than a satin, not quite to a metallic. So we're gonna say shimmer. I do think the mattes here, Secret Boudoir, um, Coffee Break, and Cashmere Coat are pretty good consistency. They blend okay. The pigmentation is pretty good. I do find that Distressed here, although beautiful, does it's a little bit harder in the pan. It does take a little bit more work. Not too much, but just be aware that it does take a little bit more work. Uh, I have really loved the consistency of the shimmer shades. There is just a little bit um, of texture to them. 
oh, what is a good word for that? Like they can get a little crumbly, but uh, they blend out just fine. So really, I think, I think it's awesome. So I am going to get a crease brush and I am going to go into this one here, cashmere coat. Just grabbing a blending brush. I do think it's a good idea with this palette and with any time you get a new palette to take it out and play with it like and do actual swatches on your arms and look at them all together because um, like in this palette I really thought that cashmere coat was going to show up more of a um, gray taupey color and I'm surprised by it It is actually a little bit warmer than what it appears in the pan and I just have every time I've done that where I've gotten a new palette and actually arm swatched it which is something I never did before um, I've been impressed and and glad that I did it so there's just a little tip well, let's see, that is looking great for the crease. Like this palette really, I wanna kinda use all the colors, but that's not something I would actually do. I really only need like two, two, three colors. I almost feel like I should be doing like five different tutorials with this one. What colors should I go in? Seriously, from this right here, I could literally go into any one of these colors to put them on my lid. I think what I'm going to do is, mm, let's go into It's Vintage. Where is it? Right there. And I am going to place this on the inner part of my eye. Because we do want to be able to use a bunch, you know, a few of these so you can see how they go. Look how pretty that is. Darn near foiled. Like you could wet this with a little bit of setting spray, Max Fix Plus, or whatever setting spray. People make such a big deal out of Max Fix Plus. You can use any setting spray or even water. Oh, I just got a little ranty there for a second. Sorry. All right. Now I'm just going to flip the same brush over and I'm going to go into, I'm going to go into Rustic right there and go to, towards the outer corner. Ooh, do got some fallout. You see that there? Got some fallout. Not the end of the world. Just something to be aware of. did turn into a little darker of a look than like my normal day to day but hey it still looks great I actually think I'm gonna try to deepen up the crease since since we're kind of going darker like let's go darker so I am going to go in to coffee break Last but not least, we are going to take this one right here. I think this is Memory Lane. Do. There is some fallout. You do need to tap the brush. We're going to put a little bit of highlight right under that brow bone. Okie dokie, we are calling that good. I'm gonna hit pause and do my eyeliner mascara that jazz and I'll be back in just a minute. So we are back and I have my full face done. I just did a little bit of eyeliner. I used NYX liquid matte and some mascara and I used some Lady Balls lipstick. All right, back to the palette. 
back to the palette. Let's talk about it. I have to be 100% honest here and say that this is actually the least favorite eye look I've actually come up with from this palette. I have had much, much better um, success or things that I like a little bit more um, when I have just stuck to like two colors. Does that make sense? Yeah, just kind of popping, you know, well, I guess a little more than two colors. Hold tight here. I guess a little more than two colors because I will use this one all over and then either um, Coffee Break or Cashmere in the crease and then pick really anyone, everyone that I've picked, I've really enjoyed. I think my favorite is to do a really kind of neutral-ish look and do Memory Lane. Um, but I like that I can pop in some other colors. Putting so many on the lid, I gotta say, actually did get a little muddy and I was kind of, I'm a little surprised by it because up until doing this look, I was really like, whoa, 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 yes, I like. Um, but I'm a little disappointed in today's look to be 100% honest. I am still of the opinion that I really enjoy this palette. And I do think the... The shadows are a pretty good quality. They do get some fallout, and, but they blend pretty well. If you blend too much, I do think they can get a little muddy. So my advice is to really go for simple looks. You can still get a real good variety of looks out of the palette because there is such a good variety of colors, but I say stick to like your simpler makeup days where one or two shadows is all you're gonna do and you really can get some good looks out of it. So that is my two cents. This does retail for $28 on the Sephora website. Again, I will link it below. I think that's a decent price where it's Sephora brand, so it's higher than drugstore, but not up there with Too Faced, Tarte, Smashbox, Benefit, blah, 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 all those ones. So I think they did a good job pricing this out and I even though had a little bit of issues with today's look still am pretty happy with Sephora's eyeshadow formulation. I hope you found this enjoyable. If you did please do give me a thumbs up. If you're new here hit the subscribe hit the subscribe button so we can hang out and be friends and until next time have a great day. Take care of each other. Hang in there if you're having a rough day. Love ya. Bye-bye.